I do remember one thing. Who knows, I was probably like four or five. My younger brother was two or three. I know he was walking. My parents, who knows what drugs they were on. At that age, you just know something's wrong with the parents. My brother was in his crib, and I remember seeing him crying, 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 crying. And I couldn't tell you why, but I, I just figured he needed food, and no one was around to feed him. I don't remember where my parents was, maybe in the living room. I remember running to the corner store on Ditmas and Flatbush. There used to be a guy run a store there. I went in, and he looked at me, and I, I'm this little thing, walking in there by myself. I don't remember how I did it, whether I, if I had a coat on or what, but I remember stealing baby food from my brother. That guy is sitting there looking at me, and I'm holding my stuff, and he's just looking at me, and I'm walking out the store, just looking and walking with my head down, and you know, he let me go. I was a tomboy, and I was always around a lot of boys, brothers and my friends, and then my moms knew other people, and they had a lot of boys. I was like the only girl. We used to do just things like kids do, look at TV, or we just do stupid stuff in the house, like shoot spitballs at each other, fight, play karate. We always used to have lots of fights in our building. And then we moved. We moved to the projects. Moving to the projects is like, is a lot of, there's a lot of stories that go on in the projects. You had to fight your way through the projects. I used to get into a lot of fights because I was big for my age. The boys always played practical jokes on me. Nasty, rugged. They boys, you know, like they tell me, come to the kitchen because I was a greedy girl and they got some juice or Kool-Aid or something in the kitchen and I go and there's nobody there and nothing there. They tell me my hands is big, my lips is big, but they tell me I stink, something like that. They tease me and I get mad and I would beat them up and it wouldn't matter to me because they used to think girls were soft and I was letting them know, no, we ain't all soft. One time, my mom left me home alone. She always left me home alone. And I wanted to make some popcorn. Back then, I don't think they had bag microwave popcorn. I didn't know anything about it. I made popcorn on the stove. But, but I was a kid, so of course I wasn't supposed to be using the stove. She comes in, were you using the stove? I was like, no. And there's popcorn kernels all over the place. <laughs> you know, popcorn stays in the air forever. <laughs> right? I was a kid. I didn't know. And she took my hand and, and she put it right on the fire. She was like, you like playing with the stuff? What's funny is we had like a big floor TV. And after I popped the popcorn, I took the whole pot and I put it on, on the carpet in front of the television. So now there's a big burn hole in the carpet. <laughs> so me, thinking I was smart, I moved the whole rug. So we had a table on the rug. I moved it over and covered the hole with the table. Yeah. A couple weeks later, I got another ass whooping for that. <laughs> she was like, I was wondering why the table was in front of the TV, so close to the TV. I tried to tell her, you already beat me for that. <laughs> Sometimes it's funny when I think about it because I started becoming a liar, you know? Just because, I don't know, she's always saying, you could tell me anything, tell me anything. But how could I tell you anything? You scare me to death. My biological mom brought me over there. No blanket, and it was pouring rain. And my mom wrapped me in a blanket, and the last thing my biological mom said to me was, Bye-bye. Be a good baby. Father, and she gave me. Baby. When I was 12, my brother took my virginity away from me. Everybody was on drugs. My father was an alcoholic. When I was raped, I was in my bed sleeping, and he came into my room. He got on top of me, and he told me to shut up. Don't you tell nothing to no one. You better not tell mommy and daddy. 
and he started doing things to me that I didn't feel comfortable with. I was crying, and he ran out, and I told my mom, and my mom told my dad, and he beat him, beat him real bad. And I was scared because when my dad beat you, he beat you. He was a good man for his work. He, he was a provider, but he stayed serious all the time. The only time he let his hair down was when he would drink on a Friday. He took an extension cord, and he beat him with it. He would beat all of us with an extension cord, and he didn't stop. If I did anything wrong, he would beat me, and I really hated him for that. He would make us get into the hot tub. Hot water in the tub with whips on us. Yeah, you would catch the wrath. They looked in, they could then they put me back in the front of the truck, and they said that the dog smelled the weed. So that's why I got arrested. But I know the dog didn't smell the weed. No, he didn't, because we had repellent on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was an obvious set. Because when the police pull you over, they don't pull you over with three cars. When they pull you over, they don't say, where are you coming from? They'd be like, do you know why I'm pulling you over? <laughs> And they put me in the car, and they took me to the station. <clears throat> now, mind you, I'm high on like 10 ecstasy pills. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm just like, oh my God. I was being such a pain. I'm like, I'm hungry. And they were like, what do you want? Because they were trying to be nice to me because they were trying to get me to snitch and this and that. So I was like, I want Wendy's. <laughs> so they would go buy me Wendy's. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want this. I want this. So they would go buy me that. <laughs> oh, they were like, uh, so where'd you get the weed? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> They were answering my phones. I had three phones. <laughs> so the one phone, they were like, who's this? I was like, my boyfriend. <laughs> then another phone calls. Who's that? My boyfriend. <laughs> they were like, oh, you got a lot of boyfriends. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the one phone calls. I had the one phone for my kids, and it was my daughter, and I was like, please, let me answer that. And they did. And I told my daughter, I said, you have to go to Tish's house. Because mommy's going to jail. The day I got arrested.